Hello Ride On people, another beautiful day in uh, Georgia, it's uh, late February and uh, 70 degrees, beautiful sunny day, really enjoying it. Anyway, uh, fitting the uh, fitting some farkles today, uh, we're going to fit a, uh, a little um, airfoil type, type uh, screen from uh, Wunderlich, uh, it's a version 2 clear. Uh, so we can put that lip on the uh, top of the screen, see whether it uh, makes any difference on the uh, on the highway. Also, going to fit some uh, some cruising pegs to the engine protection bars. The GS is pretty good, uh, allowing you to stretch and stand. But I thought trying some highway pegs might be uh, quite good as well. So they're going on the engine protection bars, and also uh, bought a new camera mount from also from Wunder Wunderlich. So um, that's going on it too. Stay with us, I'll let you know how I get on. So I have the uh, camera mount, uh, the new camera mount, mounted to the bike and there's immediately uh, two problems with it. First one is, I can show you photos hopefully when I edit the video, but um, under here, which you can still kind of see, is a, a screw hole. I have no idea why that's there. I mean it looks kind of high quality, nice bit of kit. Um, they're not trying to say weight or anything, it's not just a hole, it's actually a threaded um, entity and maybe it's for fitting other mounts that are available from Wunderlich but there's absolutely nothing in the instructions at all to tell you what that hole's for or what it can be used for. So that's the first thing, but not really that worrying. Um, the second thing, much more worrying, is that this little clamp on the back here, a little handle that's used to clamp the thing up, I just turned it a couple of times and guess what? It's just kind of going round and round now. Fortunately it is tight, but unfortunately I cannot get it off. Now it takes an Allen bolt at the back there, and I've tried to tighten the Allen bolt and that does uh, precisely nothing at all. So a bit concerned about that as well. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to get that clamp off. So initial impressions are uh, not too favourable, but um, We'll see in terms of kind of footage on the bike whether um, it's kind of stable and whether this is a good vantage point or not at the back of the bike there. So we'll see how we get on. Pretty dirty, huh? I think I'll have to uh, give the bike a good clean at some point. Anyway, uh, I've got the screen on. Uh, it's got an immense amount of adjustability all over the place and seems to be a quality bit of kit. Took the time doing it and uh, didn't apply too much pressure to uh, the little uh, bolts and just uh, nip them up by hand. Um, just actually using the uh, the socket, the star socket itself, which doesn't come with it. Um, but I've got my own and I just nipped it up, uh, literally holding just the socket um, in my hand. Uh, once I've got everything in place and everything uh, sort of snug and tight, I just nipped it up slightly more with the, with the bar. And just wrench that slightly tighter. And um, it's going to take quite a bit of playing with, I think, because uh, you can adjust the height and 
rake, angle, um, just all over the place really. Um, so you can kind of have it up and down and uh, forward and backward. And of course the actual screen itself from BMW goes up and down too. So I think it's going to take some playing with. Uh, at the moment I've got it set fairly high. The screen's in the highest position here and I've got um, the lip pretty much set in its highest position as well. There's an adjuster on the side here that slides up and down. And I've got it fairly in line with the screen, maybe just slightly proud to create a little backdraft there, a little Honda trick, with uh, which often lifts the vortex over your head. Anyway, I um, have to see next time I ride it uh, whether I like it or not. So these are the highway pegs and I can immediately tell you that they are a serious bit of a serious bit of kit and they feel really really sturdy and these things are super grippy kind of cut yourself grippy um, and the ends uh, you can see the ends come off with the flat head screwdriver and it gives you a little uh, space I'm not sure camera will focus but it will give you uh, space inside there to put uh, you know some emergency money uh, or some you know safety matches or whatever it is you want to put in there and nobody's uh, really aware that it's there and then that just screws on the end we end up with uh, with that so uh, this just requires a regular wrench regular spanner on that it's like nylocks uh, and uh, let's put them on see what they look like so now I've fitted the highway pegs uh, let's have a look at them they're nice and sturdy I've got the bits that uh, screw off the end there, put your emergency money and whatnot. And you just flick it down with the sole of your boot, put your feet on there, very grippy. And you know, you're never going to get the sort of comfort out of them like you would on a long legged uh, kind of bagatora where you've got forward controls and uh, everything's really super long on the bike, so you've got plenty of leg room, but it will help alleviate some of the uh, aches and pains you might get on a long journey whereby you just feel like you want to take a bit of a stretch just let the blood recirculate in your legs again and then you're good to go whether you can uh, stop or not so kind of ideal, ideal on the highway hence the term highway pegs where you can't necessarily pull over to the side of the road but your uh, legs are beginning to ache or you're getting a bit of cramp you can just uh, rest your feet on those give you a bit of relief in the coming videos I'll let you know how I get on whether that screen's effective whether I like the highway pegs or not and uh, of course whether I can get that Wunderlich uh, camera mount off my bike until then ride safely, ride often and ride on